Hello everybody, welcome back to Mod This. Uh, we are going to be taking a look at the Stanley Parable, a I'm mod excited. for the Half-Life 2. Uh, uh, Evan told me about this one, told me I should just download this. I'm, I'm with Evan and Ryan. I am here, and I'm hoping this is not as scary as the last time we did a mod it, this. I don't, I don't think this one's going to be scary. <laughs> I'm this hoping is, not. This is like the mod this crew right now, us three. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the series regulars. Yeah. Yep. Uh, so this game is really interesting. Uh, I, it's very short. It's not scary, but this it is does the story a lot of, of a man cool named Stanley. You said it's for uh, Half-Life Two. Stanley worked for a company in a big building. I love this voice actor already. Number four oh, he's great. Seven. Employee this number four two seven's job oh, was right. simple. He sat at his desk in room 427, <laughs> and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. <laughs> Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk. <laughs> to push, how long to push them, and in what order. <laughs> this is what employee this is, 427 did This sounds did like the voice actor who did uh, every month Hitchhiker's every Guide. Year. And although oh, yeah. others yep. might have considered it soul-rending, this game Stanley sort of relished every moment takes a strain from in, Portal as though he had been in the way it handles the narrator. Okay. I'm, I'm really into this already. Yeah. You already are going seems... to become more into it shortly. Good. Because... And then one day something very peculiar happened. <laughs> something that would for you said, uh, change. You said it's Stanley. short, Evan. Something he yes. would never question. Uh, but there were a lot of different endings and like things to he discover. He had been at his desk okay. for nearly an hour. About when he how short would not one single um, had arrived on your first on the monitor playthrough. I mean it. You could no probably be done with it in like five or ten minutes. Oh, wow. Wow. It is, it is a short game. We will Never finish this game years several times had in this, this video. Happened. Okay. This complete isolation. Um. Something was very clearly wrong. Hmm. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. <laughs> as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. All right. So it's now time to take control. Oh, interesting. All right. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well. By You're just ignoring what he said. And no, I'm. Constantly needed support and guidance from. That's not the staff lounge, is it? Is it 426? That lounge? was terrifying to him. Oh, no, no, that's it another is. employee. Employee 426. Oh, okay. It probably says staff lounge right on the top. Yeah. What if I totally was shitting you guys, and this is actually a super scary game? Don't do that. <laughs> it's not. I don't worry. Th this would be the last mod, this, if you did that. When Stanley yeah. came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. Go, go on the right, go on the right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Right. I want to I pay attention to him this time. We'll play it again, and okay. you can go the other way. Okay. As Stanley entered the lounge, he was horrified to find not a single person here. He decided he would walk up to see his boss, hoping that he would find an answer there. <laughs> no one's here. That's now, coming to a staircase, gone. Stanley walked up the stairs to his boss's okay, office. I want to. I want to. I want to follow all of his uh, rules first, and then we can okay. start to break them. Entering his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover so is this all about the rapture? of any human life. <laughs> uh, it was no. at this point it's, that he it began is sort to of a, dizzy a meta and commentary a on the nature and of even video he might pass out when suddenly he noticed say. a keypad okay. next to the filing cabinet in the corner of his boss's office. Stanley had never seen this panel before and had no idea what combination of numbers would produce any result. It's almost like in Bioshock fact, only Stanley in the way it sort of handles that since the with, panel with the whole would you kindly the thing greatest mm -hmm. and that darkest secret. being sort of so a metaphor for how even game. when you have a choice a in a game it's not really a choice. Possibly know. Um, the number and this of his freshman <laughs> dorm number in college. One, nine, five, <laughs> seven. But of course, Stanley <laughs> 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 oh man! I think the first thing as Stanley as a character would do would put in four twenty-seven. Oh, I can't even. I can't press any of them. Yeah, Stanley just you wouldn't possibly know it. Thumbs. Right. Trying to just enter anything on the keypad was useless. 
since he could never possibly know that the combination was one nine five seven. That's great. Yeah. And you're just in the room. One nine <laughs> five seven. Oh. Oh, there you go. After a while, I guess. No, I was just clicking the wrong button. Oh, that would make sense. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, <laughs> Stanley happened to input the correct code by Amazing. sheer luck. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Stanley ventured forth into the newly opened passageway. This is like Bastion. Or, not Bastion, um... This is yeah, just Bastion. like Bastion. <laughs> As he drew deeper into the bowels of the building, Stanley had no idea hey, where he was or what yeah, these getting, aren't scary. And I'm, just I'm as he began tense, to though. think he might not discover yeah, a thing, it, there's he nothing. emerged Muscle into memory. a long room yeah. to find <laughs> rows and rows of <laughs> monitors. Screens with a number above it. Stanley noticed, however, that these were not random numbers, but the number of employees who worked in the building. His co-workers... What was he, 427? Yeah. Even his own number. Yeah. 427 had a place on the wall. But why a setup so elaborate, he asked. Was this simple surveillance or something even more? And as if in answer to his question, the wall slid open before him, revealing the ultimate truth of the situation. <laughs> An enormous control panel Stanley discovered, but not one that controlled simple machinery. Buttons were labeled with emotions, happy, sad, Levers and knobs controlled actions. Walking, eating, doing work, or watching TV. <laughs> Every input on this device monitored not the functions of a machine, but of a human being. And the reality began to sink in. Stanley, like so many other people... I really want to press that button. Monitor, <laughs> not control, yet. Always at the Welcome mercy back. of this machine. Don't press it. Could this have been the only reason employee number 427 was content with his boring job? That a machine had altered <laughs> I do like this commentary type time. thing there. Yeah. <laughs> he began to feel an unbridled rage, and at the peak of his anger, something happened. A spark. Ah. Stanley looked up and saw the generator overhead, still providing some small amount of power to the machine. Jump it into it. Alive. And knowing that this generator was all that kept the controls running, Stanley moved to the ladder in the back of the room and began to climb towards the rafters. So what you're embarking on right now is sort of a perfect run through this game, if you will. You're following all of his Stan predictions. The closer he felt to freedom, the further from enslavement. That's <laughs> further from enslavement while he's doing what the guy's telling him. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and you have two choices. Step a little closer. Uh, so what's... You want to disable it, right? Sure. No. Wait. I don't know. Evan, what's the... I. You should disable it, I believe. Okay. Yeah, that is what he was saying you would be doing. Is you were, you know, climbing up there to disable the generator. Okay. Oh. Now it's all dark. Bloody face. Blackness. Blackness. Power gone. That's racist. All alone. And then... Oh, hey! As he stepped through the door into the fresh outside air, Someone a shot feeling him in the of face. liberation rushed to <laughs> Stanley's body. That's dark. He had seen power. The ultimate liberation. He had liberation. seen enslavement. Death. <laughs> and he had destroyed it. The underling was in control now. He had found his leading, leading role. Stanley never discovered why everyone had gone missing. Nor how and when he had come under the machine's control. But it didn't upset him terribly. Because he knew that this was how things were meant to happen. All he felt was a delight unlike any he had ever known before. Never again would he follow someone else's orders without question. Never again would anyone tell Stanley where to go, <laughs> what to do, or how to feel. No more bosses, 
No more instructions on a screen. Stanley decides for himself. Now. Why am I floating? And he stepped out into the world. It's like the end of Greece. And he felt the cool breeze upon his skin. A wop bop doo bop a wop bam boom. Was happy. We'll go together like a wild have to assume they didn't fit on. It'd be great if it's just cyclical, like he wakes up from a dream and then he's back at work. So that was that is the f first ending of the Stanley Parable. Now I think we should do one more playthrough because okay. I mean the fun of this game is discovering all of the stuff you can do. Mm -hmm. So just uh, play it through again, and we'll show one more alternative. All right. I say let's take like the most drastic <laughs> way you can go deviant from it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking of doing. So you can skip this. It is but, the but that button that button was tempting as hell. Stanley decided I don't think it was a button. Oh. To check there was just a texture. Darn. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, or he, not. this was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned <laughs> left at the first open door and nope. went back in the right He'll direction. Stanley was so bad at following directions, <laughs> it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> five years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punch the So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. So we're going to push down. Yep. If there is a down. Yeah, yep. there's a down. <laughs> What, you think this game wouldn't give you oh, a down Stanley. option? <laughs> well, you know, you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. <laughs> I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. So the you see the sort of Gladys inspiration. In yeah. you know. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. And frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating <laughs> for me. So why don't you throw me a bone, give me a chance, and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? <laughs> Man, commentary on games. Yeah. Great. The red and blue. Now listen carefully. This is... <laughs> <a> <laughs> listen carefully. Stanley walked through the red door. Aha. Uh -huh. Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> oh, this is great. I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked around. through the red door. <laughs> All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Uh. Well, don't let me stop you. <laughs> you see? It's and nothing. textureless room. No one's even built this <laughs> section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. It's <laughs> just a for bunch the record, of skybox like and Gary's dead wall mod textures. And SDK, That's this it. Is, what is this what you were looking for? That has was it worth it ruining like. the story I'd written out for you? <laughs> I put a lot of time into that, and now you... Well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. <laughs> To think that that's all I needed to make in the I first place. I wish you like this is a commentary a on nothing, people who like and you would have break been games well, hey, on purpose. <laughs> still need a little something to do. Am I right? Here, let me load up another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. <sighs> ah, here's one. Let's boot this up. We'll see if you like it. <laughs> <laughs> Great sell for a new map. That's fantastic. <laughs> it is from Half Life Two, I believe. <laughs> yes, it is. is well, Stanny, yeah. Is this any better? Start. I don't know why it would be. This map now, do you wasn't know where even you're made supposed to you. go. This map At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. Yes, I know where to I go. I wanted to make you a leading two. man. Then, yeah, this the one, other well, way. I'm afraid you're on your own there. All right. The other way is this way. Isn't it? It's supposed to be. I don't think there is an alternate route for this, actually. 
So you should probably just continue. All right. Let's let's check the let's check the store here. <laughs> okay. You just hate this narrator. <laughs> All right. Let's take the phone. <laughs> <clears throat> This is fantastic. This is a great, <laughs> great little mod. It really is. It, it's a mod that is saying something, too. Stan really was like fat that. and ugly and really, really <laughs> stupid. He probably only got his job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. That, or with drug money. Also, <laughs> Stan is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. <laughs> Nah, look, there's Stanley. That's the way you're not supposed to go in the game. Also, oh, I got in here once in the game. Like, I yeah. I just, like, boom, got in there. Because, well, let's be... I I opened up the console and gave myself all the weapons. I see. Yeah. This is great. It's just taking. Us, what? <laughs> we spent so long talking about you. Why don't we just That's take a break from somebody that and talk sport. about something else for a change? <laughs> Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, more than ninety percent of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. Now, this is fascinating. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? Oh no, of course not. All you want to hear about is yourself, isn't it? Well, fine. You haven't listened to me once so far. I can't expect you to turn that around now, can I? <laughs> At least it doesn't make you solve the puzzle. It's, it's true. true. <sighs> Is this the end of the line? I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. But hey... You're a creative kid. Wait. Hold on. What are you, no! what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? You, oh. There was a pl place where the the geometry wasn't fully loaded in, and so you fell into it. Try walking forward. Yeah, I'm just I'm just walking. Stanley, don't do that. I just can't walking. follow you there. I can't help you. I can't. I'm just. There's a box. Hmm. Can you turn around? Ah, there we go. Go towards the light. How will you write a story without me? Oh, I'm going away from the narrator. <laughs> and if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, this is uh -oh. so fantastic. <laughs> That's a great mod. Oh my god, this is so great. It's still going. Yeah, I know. Oh. This is this isn't the end. Go should right I, again. Should I go right or should I go left this time? Go right again. Go right again? Narrator seems to have stopped talking to you. See, I kind of, yeah, I kind of want to, like, go his way so he'll stop talking to me. Okay, go ahead. I don't know that even going his way will will bring him back. You've heard yeah, his feelings. I, well, I kind of, I kind of, like, went away from him, like, way far away from him where he couldn't hear me anymore. Or I couldn't hear him anymore. Maybe I'll go down. Well, so you're not going his way. To like, will this all funnel you towards? Oh. The okay. It's sad, I know, but all stories must come to an end. <laughs> of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters, and not the destination. And I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, <laughs> but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, but this is simply the nature of freedom. Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. <laughs> Maybe you don't want a guide, but I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. I'll step in and wrap <laughs> things up with a nice piece of dialogue, 
and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. And for now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is but two of, I think, five or six endings in the Stanley Parable. Fantastic. I'm reluctant to show more. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was just loading up because the okay. music was really loud. Yeah. But, uh... This is the story. Yeah, this... I I think this game is really fantastic. Yes, this is... This is my... This might be the, the most, uh clever and uh innovative Just little well mod produced. yeah like the voice acting is really good the writing is really good and the fact yeah. that there are so many different options like i i do want to go through and play it again yeah yeah <coughs> all right so that's it for this episode of mod this and we'll see you next time yeah thanks for watching <laughs>